So I'm going to show you how I zest or microplane citrus zest. So we just need a trusty microplane. This is a branded uh, implement or tool. It's pretty universal in kitchens, although most zesters will work the same way. The motion we want to use, I would describe as like a peeling motion. Uh, people might be used to rolling their citrus against the zester. That's fine. If you are going to use that method, make sure that you are zesting on top of the bowl or saucepan that you are uh, going to put the zest into so that any splashes of essential oil are being captured in the bowl. Otherwise, the easiest method is to just grab your citrus like you would an apple and your trusty microplane in one hand and pretend you're peeling it. So kind of run it, run it from top to bottom as if you're peeling. So in, a, in, in my recipes, I'll often say like a quarter of an orange or uh, two, two strips or zests. So that's an indication of how much zest. It's too hard to weigh because it's such a small amount. So just, it's really quick and easy, kind of working your way from top to bottom. Look how much zest we have. And we are capturing all those essential oils in, in the uh, microplane. And when you're ready to use your zest, just, just give it a tap into the bowl that you're going to use. So the skin of citrus contains so much of the essential oils and aroma of citrus. Lime zest, orange zest, lemon zest. And it's really important not to overdose your recipes because a little bit goes a long way and it can quickly become overpowering.